beautiful in here, eh? Stunning. We're just out for the night. I'm really excited to be back out here. It's been uh, since last September that I was out canoeing and in my hammock. So uh, yeah, I'm excited for this little overnighter on Superior. mud line here at the yeah. mouth of a uh, small river. We were just talking about it. Yeah. The mud line that is. That's behind you. Yeah. Big flyers. Oh, I got him. Oh. What is that? Rainbow? I think it's a nice rainbow. Looks like it. I didn't get a great look yet in the muddier or stained water. Your flyers? Good job. Yeah. Oh, it's a beauty. Nice and easy, barbless, single. Oh, that's a nice fishy. Real nice. All right. Hello. This is beautiful. A rainbow. beautiful rainbow. Thank you, friend. I'll nice let you go. Long. Yeah. That was a nice one. Good job. It was enjoyable how easy that hook was to get off. I know, right? Pesto and turkey sandwiches, carrot chips, this beach is just crawling with these little beetles. There's just like tons of them on their backs. Huh. found home for tonight. We've got a beautiful panoramic view, some beverages. It's going to be a great evening. Looking forward to getting in my banana hammock. <laughs> it's supposed to be a perfectly clear night, so we're going without the tarps tonight. Welcome to my home. That was pretty sweet. This is my first time in this hammock and it has a nickname which I think is quite obvious. It is the banana hammock and I love it. Does that make me the banana? Oh yeah. Oh this is sweet. What a view and we get to share a tree too. It's nice when you're not in the tent you can't cuddle. But when you share a tree, it's kind of nice. You just feel very close. This is one of our best hammock setups ever. Eh? I agree. Ha, 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 ha. Are you happy? Very. Would you like me to crack it? Yes, please. Solstice. Thank you. Who's that by? I got a, a sleeping giant. <laughs> I got it. I'll uh, steal a, a taste. <laughs> okay. Hello. Thank you. That's pretty good. All right. Cheers, team. I missed y'all. <laughs> Cheers. We missed you, too. Oh, that's good. <sighs> what an oasis.
What an incredible spot. We are, we're so fortunate to be here, so spoiled. In this archipelago, little islands all around, most of them barren rock, but a wide view of Superior. We've got a sunrise view, sunset view, and we're just tucked in there. We're on the end of this point, just perfect. Uh oh <laughs> Too much asparagus. No such thing. Doing it in two batches. Good? Just right. No fork for you? Nah. There's mosquitoes on our asparagus. <laughs> oh, there. I think it I think it steamed itself. There's two of them. Steam dead. Perfect grilling temperature. This is gonna be good. Jalapeno and cheddar smokies. Who's that chirping at us? Yeah. Oh, there he is. There you are. Oh. <laughs> Gotta get your take KDVs. Ketchup delivery to you, devices. <laughs> Close. Ketchup delivery vehicles. French fries, <laughs> sausages. It's important to get that nutritious, nutritious ketchup into you. Yeah. Do you want either of these? <clears throat> um, I'm probably good with just this one for the night. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Got more Blanche de Chambly and uh, Wayne Gretzky Lager. The great one. I'll have the Gretz. That's a good beer, eh? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a slam dunk. <laughs> it's like confusing Gandalf with Dumbledore. <laughs> I know. I did it on purpose. <laughs> it <was> good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, Erin, where has she been? It's been ages since she's been out, especially on a canoe trip. She was actually selected by NASA to go into space. And she's just returned from Mars, and um, you made friends there. They were chimpanzees sent by NASA. Is that correct? Uh, common misconception. They were actually orangutans. Yeah. Yeah. But yes. Didn't bring a camera with me. I regret that. Mm. So you'll just have to take my word for it. It's a serious oversight. But uh, yeah, it was an experience. <laughs> okay, see if you can beat my high score. <laughs> this is actually a fantastic sunset. We're settling in for the night. It's uh, supposed to go down to about four degrees tonight, so hopefully that'll knock the bugs off a bit. And we're looking forward to uh, a great morning and another wonderful day tomorrow. Night.
beautiful sunrise this morning. I got up to see it. Uh, Aaron slept in. I went back to sleep after and we accidentally slept in till 10. Which is kind of a crime when Superior is this glass calm. But we needed it. <laughs> Still beautifully calm out there. That moon was something, eh, last night? Incredible. So bright, washed out the stars, but it was worth it. Mm -hmm. Still, the Big Dipper, I was looking straight up at the Big Dipper yeah. from, uh, from the hammock. I had the moon all night moving across the sky. Yeah. It was beautiful. Okay, first priority, coffee. Second priority is this. Golden Grill hash browns. I recently started using some dehydrated hash browns from bought uh, off of Amazon. You folks let me know that these are way cheaper at Costco. And they come in a little carton. You just fill the carton with boiling hot water. And then it uh, like hydrates in there, pour it into a pan, fry it. Then we're going to add eggs and make like an omelette inside of this. Is that a frittata? I don't know, but it should be delicious. Got lots of nice ingredients. Luxuries of a short trip on Superior with no portages. Bring whatever you want. I'm excited. Your coffee. Thank you. Ho ho! Oh, it's gonna be a big breakfast. That's gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's looking good. There, with the tomato. Oh, that's something. That's gonna be good. Green onion. Oh my. Toasted up the remaining baguette from yesterday's lunch. Never really made this before. I don't know. Is that enough? Let's get to start. Thank you. I'm making some breakfast bruschettas instead of making it into a sandwich. I've sliced mine up. We're gonna top them. May I borrow the spoon? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna. Oh, this. that's melty. Yeah. Let me show you what I got going on mm. here. Mm. Salt and pepper too. Oh That's yeah. Really good. It's a breakfast bruschetta. Yuppies. Just put it on the bread and muck it. <laughs> you want pepper? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the wind took that one. Wind is kicking up, it was glass, and we missed our paddling. That's painful, but oh well. It's been a wonderful morning too. We're all packed up, ready to go. Fortunately, the wind has picked up. There's a chop and even some white caps, so we'll have to be careful, see what we can manage out there, because this water is deadly cold. But at least it's a tailwind. We're gonna go a little bit farther, but with this wind building, we decided we should probably head back. Don't wanna test our luck too much out here. No. It's been beautiful. We've had a wonderful experience and got tons out of what we did. We only wanted to go a little further, so it's all good.
couple of eagles. Three? One, oh yeah, three. wow. Eagle party. <laughs> Beautiful to paddle back, feels like a totally different paddle somehow. We're always speechless paddling down the Superior Coast. Aaron grew up here in Thunder Bay and I've lived here four or five years and it's still jaw dropping, never ceases to amaze us. I love Superior so much, it's been a magical little weekend getaway. Hello, I see you. Another fish for Aaron on a mud line here at the mouth of the Little Pick River. Perfect way to cap off our weekend trip. Can't wait for the next one with Aaron. Been so nice to have her back out. How did it feel to be back? Great. <laughs> Overdue. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to be out and it was couldn't have asked for a better weekend. Nope. A little warm up for a big trip in August. <laughs> We have relocated so to where we can see sunset. It's a beauty, perfect copper to today. So where's Aaron been? I get this question on uh, every single solo video, understandably. Uh, she's been, she hasn't been on a canoe trip since like last September. What is this, June? Yeah, that's like nine months. It's a long time. And hasn't been on any trips for about four months. She's been doing her masters. Yeah, I'm in the final semester of my uh, graduate studies right now, so it's been pretty heavy just the last little bit with on top of working full time. And so I unfortunately haven't had a ton of free time for camping, but uh, I have just under eight weeks left on my whole program. Fingers crossed if I do well. And, uh, and then I'll be free and never go back to school again. <laughs> So, so close. Sh should be around more. Yeah, it's been three years. Yeah. It's a long haul. Whole time we've been together almost. The whole time we've been together. Just starting. Huh. Quite a few mosquitoes here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that'll be amazing for both of us, especially Aaron. 
she'll be out a lot more and she'll be doing some solo trips too yeah some solo vlogging so Aaron saw something really cool recently earlier this spring very close to this area she was driving to Thunder Bay right yep I saw three lynx cubs just on the highway and then I saw two of them cross and I pulled over and then went and looked and it was kind of a bit of a gorge off the highway so they'd gone down the gorge and um, obviously just felt pretty comfortable like there was they weren't right by the highway and so I spent about 10 or 15 minutes watching the three of them kind of mosey on and it was it was spectacular I I love lynx and I've had a few sightings throughout my life but that was the most prolonged and to see the cubs was it was really cool yeah yeah so awesome they're yeah. really, they're phenomenal I like they're just such cool creatures they look like a cartoon <laughs> They exist around here. I've only seen three in my life, three adults, and yeah, I'm always dying for the chance to see them, so I was super jealous, but. Yeah, they're yeah. very elusive. Yeah. Guess who's back? Back again. Aaron's back. Tell a friend. <laughs>